Come on. What am I supposed to do? Can't you decide just one thing? Do I really have to do both now? It's okay. I've, I've got a little time. So be happy. You're getting two videos this week. But it's not gonna be a habit. Because if you believe it or not, I have other stuff to do as well. Now let us not waste more time and go on. Okay, so I have two comments that I'd like to point out. The first one is this, that blatantly says thanks. Well, thank you for saying thank you. I have now created a thank you chain with a thank you on either side, which makes us perfectly balanced, as all things should be. And the second one is this. Are you a voice actor? Even though I know better, English is not my first language. So I cannot judge your grammar. Anyway, it's funny that you ask. Because actually, no. I don't even know how you could think that. Like, I'm stuttering every single sentence. Now with these comments out of the way, let's go. So first of all, look at this. What is this? How am I supposed to keep up? Huh? How should I make every single one feel welcome? When you just come like a bunch of rabbits hopping over the fence of subscription, there's no way I can keep up with a skit for every single one. And the worst part, half of these people don't show up in my feed, okay? I don't know who you are. So please, speak up. Tell me, who are you and why are you here? Now that this little dilemma of mine is cleared up, mostly, let's get into shapes. The most basic of design. I'll have you know, there's three of them. One's a triangle, one's a circle, and one's a square. I'm sure every single one of you can draw at least one of those, because these are the basic building blocks that will get our designs to the next level, but only if we understand what they mean and what they stand for. So let's start with the circle. The circle conveys some kind of warmth, some kind of familiar thing, a friendly thing. It doesn't have any edges, it doesn't have any spikes. That's why we mostly use it to describe things that are good for us, that are friendly to us. Like a good, friendly character will have mostly roundish shapes. Now, with that said, it doesn't need to be one big circle, or it can even be some kind of triangle shape that comes together with other shapes in the character's whole perspective and forms a part of a circle. That's a good thing about designing something. You don't have any limits. You can do whatever you want. You can even slap triangles and squares all around your good hero character. And as long as there are some kind of roundish, ovalish, you know, circle kind of thingy shapes, within them or around them, there's still going to be a great chance that your character will look good, as in friendly. It's also good to know that the circle is more of a feminine shape. I wonder why. And even though they are a feminine shape, you can also find them on men. Which brings us to an important point before I go on with the square shape. That point of importance is that you should use all shapes. Sure, there are designs that only use squares and only use circles and only use triangles. However, these are intricately detailed designs made so they read good even though they only have this one shape in them, which is extremely hard. And I would not recommend it to anyone because chances are it's going to suck. And if that's the case, you're most likely not going to draw again for the next week, which is bad. So remember, always use all shapes. I recommend that you use about 50% of the shape you want to actually convey and you split the remaining 50% between the other two shapes. Something like that. You also have to look that you actually draw the thing you want to do. Okay, you can't just make a wheel a square just because you want it to convey stability. Yeah, the squares, they convey stability, okay? They convey 
trust and order and something like rationality. They are a strong and sturdy kind of shape, you know, just like a house that is a rectangle just looks a little more stable than a house than if it would be round, even though physics would say otherwise. But who cares? Rectangles and squares, they are stable, they are sturdy, and they are I think the most powerful of the three shapes. So you have to be a little careful using them because they can make or break your design in an instant. That's true for every shape, by the way. However, with squares, I think it's just that it's like the neutral thing between roundish shapes and triangle shapes. And I think it's because of that that we tend to use it a little more careless. So keep your eyes out for the rectangles. And now our last of the basic shapes, the triangle. Also a very powerful weapon in design. As opposed to the circle, it conveys some kind of insecurity, some kind of hostility, but it can also convey movement. And if used right, it can even convey some kind of balance or, you know, revelation or purpose or, you know, some kind of, some kind of mystical shit. But they are mostly used to describe something that is not good for you. Something that is going to hurt you or be hurtful to you. You can use them to make even hero characters or good characters look a little more strong or tense is a better word for it or like in a conflict of some kind of sort. You can sprinkle them like in the details of your characters. Having the details have some little triangles gives it a little more kick, a little more, you know, ferociousness. It can show that they are really fast or in some kind of conflict, you know, that they are good with a lot of squares and circles but almost no triangles and they have triangles in the details which can convey that there is some kind of bad thing around them. So yeah, that's about it for the triangles. And as a last little tip, always look at the bigger picture. You can make a character that's basically only triangles and squares, but the entire character itself conveys a circle. All the shapes together make a big circle or more half circles or some kind of circular or oval shape, which can convey your character as friendly, even though he's made of tons of other shapes. So always watch out for that. When going into the design details, you know, the shapes of the smaller things on your character, always zoom out a little bit to know, okay, what's the main shape of it? Does it still convey the thing that I want the watcher to think? Yeah. And that's about it. There really is not much more for me to say. Except of course, goodbye and happy drawing.